Welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here. Spoiler alert, this video is a fail, but I'm gonna show you all the work I did to try and get this tree stump removed with this Artillion stump bucket on my Kubota B2601 compact tractor. So, stick around. Now at the widest point, this tree stump measures 26 inches, and on the narrowest point, it measures 18 inches, so 18 by 24. Now I've got my Woodland Mills wood chipper on the back. I'm just going to leave it on there because that adds a tremendous amount of ballast, which is what we need for stump work. It's a little bit clunky because it has a lot of moving parts, but I don't feel like taking it off because it's really hot today. So far, no budgie budgie. So this tree was cut down, I bet you it's been 10 years ago, and I assumed that by now, the root structure would have rotted enough that we could break it loose. You can see here where I exposed this root, it's probably a good three, four inches in diameter, and that thing is solid. It's not even a little bit rotted. Maybe it's kind of petrified. So I was trying to cut through it, I was trying to cut under it. I'm not seeing any movement of this stump whatsoever. I'm going to give it a little bit more try. I'm going to 
try to work around it some more. I think the trick is not to hit the stump itself, but try to work around and hit the root structure. But I can't even get through these old roots. I mean, they are not budging at all. And uh, this was a persimmon tree of all trees that I don't really know anything about the wood, but it's, you know, it's got some rot here and there. You can see this piece here is rotten, but underneath it's pretty solid. So we'll keep trying. This could be a failure. Well, I'm having some success, but mostly at making a mess. My strategy at first was to just hit the stump head on, and then I learned very quickly that it was not going to budge. So now what I'm doing is I'm digging all around the stump, and you can see where I've loosened up quite a few of those two inch and three inch roots. And there are some that are still holding on strong like that one. But my idea is to go all around the stump and break away those roots that are holding it in place.
I'll be honest, I don't even know where the tree stump is anymore. This tree was cut down probably 10 years ago. Look how green the inside of these roots are. And the wood is really solid. Pretty amazing. No wonder this thing is not letting go. Okay, we're here. Here's where I'm at. I've got this big root structure here on the left side of the stump, and I've got all the roots around it. I think pretty much broken off, but there is a root structure here. It's got to be a foot wide, and probably four to six inches thick. So I am having a hard time with that, but I'm just picking away to see if I can break that out. But I think that's the last piece holding this stump together. You know, a tree trunk is a lot like a person. There's often a lot more going on underneath than what you see on the surface. And those roots run deep. And sometimes they can't let go or they refuse to let go. And no matter how hard you try, you can't get them to move. And I knew that the relationship between this tree trunk and this tractor was not a good one. But I kept thinking if I just pick away at it a little more, I could make a difference. So this video is kind of a fail because I could have damaged my tractor, I could have injured myself, and at the end of the day, I'm left with a tree trunk that hasn't budged and I've made a big old mess all around me. And sometimes, the only thing you can do is walk away. So, that's what I've gotta do. But thanks for watching.